that chair. <laughs> Roast Bell is officially sponsored to you by hatred, sexual negativity, and of course, weed. And now your host, he is the Roast Master of Roast Battle, Brian motherfucking Mose! Yeah, battle! Everybody! No, 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 chill, chill. Oh shit, new stage? What? Holy shit, Jamie the band went to House Hunters? Look at this. Hardwood floors? Oh my god, I can tap dance all night. Audience! There's like 80 people in here, right? So, when this autistic 40-year-old man gets on stage and these titties start jumping, we do a chant in here. And no, it's not white power. It goes, battle! 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 Come on! Battle! Louder! Battle! Everybody! Battle! Come on! Battle! Niggas! Battle! Bitches! Battle! White people! Battle! That's it. Perfect. Welcome to the show, everybody! This is the Rose Bell, and this is the 2024 first round of the California Cup. We've got battles from San Diego, California, Los Angeles, California, and that homeless encampment called San Francisco. Or the Bay Area. And we're excited to have everybody here tonight. we got four great battles. We're excited. Uh, and I'm excited about my, my fire squad tonight. Let's meet him. Let's bring him out tonight. He's the commissioner of the whole Rose Battle League. Keep it going for Pat Marker! Yes. A thick boy in all pink. Not Babe, not Barbie. He opens for Polly Shore. Make it loud. Sandy Dancer. Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah. And this man has a lot of credits. Uh, he's going to be on a new HBO docu-series with Gerard Carmichael. He doesn't want me to tell you that because he hates gay niggas. Oh, <laughs> Folks, he's a Negro from Compton. Keep it going. Jamar Nathan. Yeah! Yes. What I tell you about associating me with gay shit in public, Moses. <laughs> Is that, wait, you, are you calling Gerard gay shit? Nah, 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 I'm not. Sandy's wearing a pink suit. Oh. <laughs> My bad. My bad. Yeah. Looking like Pepto-Bismol. Uh, <laughs> which which is fire. Yeah. Uh, that means the world to me. Yeah. Well, this is fun tonight, you know? This is the, the California Cup. Jamar flew in town just for this. Uh, Woo! Yeah. <laughs> With them crows from Dumbo. Sure. Let, <laughs> wow, I love it. Uh, what, what the fuck? Are you excited about this tonight, Sandy? This is uh, your back tonight. You, you know how you feel about the California Cup tonight? Um, I feel uh, reinvigorated by it. I'm not sure what it is, but I'm really excited. <laughs> Hell yeah! I can feel it in my loins. <laughs> <laughs> Pat, explain this to uh, Sandy. What's happening tonight? So, uh, I mean, Moses touched on it. We got great battlers in L.A., the Bay, and San Diego. They all came down here to jam in the van. 16-person tournament. Runs through May, and it kicks off tonight. One person will have bragging rights as the best roaster in the state of California. What? <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. And this is new for us. Uh, and we love this guy. Now, we started with a, uh, a hater section, right? A house hater. And we started with a white supremacist. Uh, <laughs> then we had to stop because Trump's out of office. Uh, <laughs> Then we went to a, uh, we outsourced our hate to a, uh, a, a Saudi prince who was a terrorist. <laughs> then we got out of that and went to uh, a drag queen who can't read. <laughs> now, we're going old school. A hating ass nigga from Atlanta. <laughs> Named Mexico. Make it loud for my boy, sushi boy, Mexico. What's up, niggas? What's up, <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready to hate these Californians tonight, Atlanta? What happened? You ready to hate these Californians tonight? It's my favorite thing to do, my boy. My favorite <laughs> thing to do. So let's get into it. All right, these are two ladies. One's from San Diego, one's from LA. Let's meet the San Diego first. Uh, a Middle Eastern lady. Minnie LT! Yay! Yay! 
Vinny, welcome to the show. Thank you for having welcome me. Welcome to the family van. Welcome to the first round of the California Cup. All right, Vinny, uh, not a lot of people know who you are. You want to tell people a little something about yourself? Uh, I got knocked up, and I have a baby. <laughs> we could have started with, like, I don't know, name, height, weight, but all right. <laughs> My name's ironic. That's, that's yeah. fun. So. Yeah, Vinny LT. Mm -hmm. Your battle's there for Timmy tonight. This will be fun. Uh, this lady's from Los Angeles. She's a ex-champion here at the Rose Battle in Los Angeles. Sarah Fatimi! Yeah. Woo! I love it. This is like before Ozempic and after Ozempic. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like the Kardashians they don't talk about, sure. Fatimi, you're battling this lady. Now, people know about you a little bit here, but for the folks who don't, give them a little something about yourself. Like, what should they know about you? I have one ovary. <laughs> what is going on here? I can here? still have kids. Don't worry. <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> All right. Holy shit. Wow. Okay. Chill out, um, Epstein Island. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay away from all this. All right. We're both ovulating. So. Holy shit. All right. I'm gonna get somebody pregnant tonight. Right. Ladies, this is one round. This is five jokes. This is the California Cup. Who's going first? Me. You got this, yep. folks. This is Vinny from San Diego. Sarah from LA. Make some noise. That's right. Sarah's Middle Eastern, so they call her the hummus of stand-up. <laughs> because she spreads it for every comic. <laughs> Especially the crackers. <laughs> Minnie's both Mexican and Arab, so she's used to two kinds of ethnic cleansing. Thank you, Selma Hijack. You don't have to... <laughs> You don't have to thank me. I'm not the cashier at McDonald's. <laughs> Minnie's body is like her comedy career. Has a lot of critics and will never work out. <laughs> oh, shit. Sarah looks like the 9-11 tapes are her favorite porno. <laughs> I'd tell you to slit your wrist, but even those would look like stretch marks. <laughs> You're skinny? You look like you're from the Middle Feast. Hey. <laughs> Minnie's from San Diego, home of the Padres, which is something her daughter will never have. <laughs> At least I have both my ovaries, Baron Ghazi. <laughs> hey, Minnie, you should try running instead of getting run through. Sarah posted a picture of herself in a Princess Jasmine costume on Instagram, and that's why Robin Williams hung himself. <laughs> I was actually shocked that Minnie got knocked up, because clearly she's used to swallowing. <laughs> Guys, give it up for Raggedy Iran. <laughs> that's the only time you'll ever hear Minnie say, I ran. <laughs> Sarah is so hairy and Muslim, her mustache is her prayer rug. Oh, Minnie, I don't know if you believe in abortion, but you look like Roe and Wade. It definitely takes two people to turn you over. Thank you, Sarah, fat tummy. No problem, supersize nanny. Last one. Sarah is the only woman in Hollywood that's on her knees five times a day and she's still unemployed. Oh. Bismillah. Al Rahman al Rahim. <laughs> Minnie looks like her favorite sex toy is a hot dog. <laughs> Everybody keep it going! Make some noise! LA, Sarah Batimi. San Diego, Mini LT. All right. Uh, yeah. Keep it going for arms, leg, leg, arm, head. It's an Allah thing, everybody. Let's start with Sandy on this one. Who'd you like? Uh, Which one of these girls would you they like? They were to both you? fan. Those both your guys' jokes were phenomenal. Um, Thank you. The, the, the pace at which you guys were telling your jokes, it was like the tortoise and the hare, and I wasn't sure who was going to win. But, I, Minnie, 
so funny. I thought the way Sarah was antagonizing you, you were just gonna pick her up and throw her into the crowd. <laughs> That's but, after the show. <laughs> but uh, it, it's so hard, but I think Sarah just like, those fucking retorts, the Iran, oh my God, I was, I was hurt by that. Right? And you're Jewish. Yeah. And, and also fat. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, if somebody would say that about me, I would cry a little inside and, and but be like. <laughs> so I gotta, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. But I got it so good. That's but it was okay. just like the off the cuff things that like really fucking you did it. <laughs> that was the, that was the tiebreaker for me. So Sarah, sorry. Sarah. God, I feel so bad. There it is. Telling Thank people you. I, Thank I you. like that. But. Thank you. Happy October 7th. Thank you. I like silently judging I'm Jewish. Go ahead, Jamar. I mean, both of these people are very talented individuals. Wouldn't this crowd agree? Yeah. Oh my God. Both would rip it on Apollo. Um, huh. uh, this is hard for me. Fat on fat crime is at an all time, um, I don't know, you both were fat. I, um, okay, she's built like the villain from Nightmare Before Christmas. Wait, which one? <laughs> the one that's her in the dress. <laughs> Minnie. Minnie, yes, and um, you're fat too, just a little bit, but like a little slimmer. Um, yeah, are you on the internet? Am I on the internet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's, what's your hot link? I, um, you're fat. Okay, I, okay, no, 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 no. Okay, so I think, okay, she had my favorite joke, Minnie, about the rug uh, on your fucking lip and shit. I think it was the most creative joke, but uh, I think she was more consistent. Um, mm, mm, do I go for who made me laugh harder or who was more consistent? You're the judge, my nigga. Shit, I am your nigga. Uh, fuck, dude. Ownership, all right. I mean, fuck. I'm gonna go for her. Which one, there. I'm gonna go for Minnie. Oh! Take All that, right. Pat. All right, hold on. Before we go to the Pat, commissioner. Pat, did you beat me, Walsh? Before we go to the commissioner to break this tie, I want to talk to my hater over here. Hater, who do you hate the most over here? Um, I can't believe Middle Eastern bitches are funny. Like, it was, I was very shocked. They got it at Hamas. <laughs> Hamas dress for less. I did like many jokes. <laughs> I kind of like many jokes better, but like, like he said, the snapbacks that she had. Uh, I hate them both, though. <laughs> he said he wouldn't smoke hookah with none of y'all. Pat Barker, break this time. So first of all, this was incredible. Um, amazing opening battle for the tournament for the night. Give it up for these guys one more time. <laughs> Uh, this was my favorite episode of Keeping Up with the Carb Dashians. Um, and that's the only mean thing I have to say. Everything else is very nice. All of your jokes were, were awesome. Minnie, to come out swinging with the, the hummus, she spreads it for every comic, especially crackers. Like, to hit two punchlines like that right like off the bat. Sarah came back with the stretch marks thing. The Padres thing was incredible. The Robin Williams thing didn't get the love that I thought it deserved. I, didn't, I thought that might not do well here. Don't say that. I'm trying to compliment you. Um, <laughs> don't be like, yeah, they were right to not laugh at my joke. No, it was great. Fuck that. You guys were wrong. Um, Roe and Wade was uh, so brilliantly written. On her knees five times a day. For me, I mean, the jokes were like pretty much even. There was like a major style clash, though, where like Sarah was like looking to jump in at every possible, and she was like all, you know, amped up and everything, and she was like literally like dancing on the stage back and forth and pointing and doing all this shit. And Minnie was just kind of like, all right, you tire yourself out, and when you're done, I have a haymaker for you. I'm a, I'm a mom, I gotta do that. Yeah, absolutely. From one parent to another, I get it. Uh, we're exhausted all the time. We don't have time to be bouncing around on stage. You wait your turn and you say your joke. And I thought you were both. You were both great, and this is a little bit of an upset because Sarah is a former champion, but I do think Minnie edged it out slightly. Whoa! Praise be to Allah, Minnie's your winner of Big Day! Hug each other, you two, hug each other, wow. Keep it going, Sarah Fatimi, Minnie LT, everybody. Bad up, bad up, bad up! Bad up. Ah. 
upset. San Diego moves on, beats the X champ. Wow. All right, man. We are moving on. Next battle. This is LA versus the Bay. Let's bring out the Bay first. Have met this cat. Heard he's very funny. Take a laugh. Raphael Wolfgang. Good to see you. All right, cool. Uh, <laughs> Raphael, we know nothing about you. You want to tell anybody just something about yourself? Uh, I'm excited to be down here roasting my friend in the closet. It's going to be great. <laughs> I guess. Uh, he is a virgin. He, uh, I'm sorry. Whoa, 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 whoa. Take it back. They are a virgin. They are a virgin. They're very funny. They're here tonight. Make it loud. JP, Poot the Beetle. Uh, that's a dude. Thanks. <laughs> Every time. We try, but it's, yeah. Your best. I'm going to get it one day. We know. We know. All right. Uh, JP. Hi. Raphael called you his friend. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Are you guys friends? I don't. I met him a second ago. But sure, he seems nice. Also said you were in the closet, even though you're a virgin. I I like think I'm more in a blanket for it. Uh, <laughs> no girls allowed. All right. Um, so you're non-binary. You're you're a virgin. Mm -hmm. No sexuality whatsoever. You no. tell anything else to these people? Oh no, I'm just excited to be here. You know, I'm Indian. He's German. So both our families like drawn swastikas. Uh, so it'll be a fun battle. Let's go. That's true. People don't say this enough, but Gandhi and Hitler were friends. Let's yeah, get into this. Yeah. Homies, dude. Yeah. That's real. Yeah. Yeah. Gandhi sent a uh, love letter to Hitler to say, hey, maybe lay off the Indians. Yeah. Oh, nice. uh, everybody else is cool, though. All right. What did Hitler say? One round, five jokes. No, 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 no. What did Hitler say? Huh? What did Hitler yeah, say? What did Hitler it's Hitler a different Hitler podcast. Say. We got to get into this. <laughs> One round, five jokes. What we got? I'll go first. You got this? Yeah, Oops. I got this. Germany, India. Are we ready? Right <laughs> Let's roast! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Germany jokes. How original. I did not see that coming. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm very excited to be here roasting my friend JP, and this is a good place to do it too, because when JP was a kid, they got jammed in a van. Uh, that's not actually true, but you totally believed me, didn't you? <laughs> uh, no, it, it, it's good to see you, dude. It, it, this is uh, Winnie the Pooh. His name was Killy the Jew. Uh, I, no, I mean, it's, it's, you're right. It's easy to call him racist. He would never say, like, the Aryan race is superior. I have heard him say that they're built different. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, keep it going for Shia LaBeouf, fucker, everybody. Yeah, hey, keep it going for him. Hell yeah. Uh, so yeah, as they mentioned, JP is a non-binary X-man, which is why they look like a gay Wolverine. Uh, yeah, they've got the strength of ten men in their ass. <laughs> uh, you got enough. I'm not binary. You got enough Y chromosomes for the both of us. Uh, I'm not saying he's brain damaged or anything, but his dad did leave him when he was a kid, so he was literally dropped as a baby. Um, fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, my dad did leave me, that's true, so uh, I'm not the only one up here whose dad lost a son. I am a virgin, uh, you know, we're both kind of virgins. Me to sex, you to consensual sex. Uh, uh, no, he's not a rapist, they settled out of court. Uh, Rath plays golf, he likes putting stuff into holes as long as it's not over 18. Um, You've been going for Osama bin Latte, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when you're a bad Muslim, you get 72 JPs. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. By the way, <laughs> by the way, JP, as uh, as we mentioned, JP is non-binary, asexual, and autistic. And I'm very supportive of my friend's identity, but this is exactly what my uncle thinks happens when you get vaccinated, right here. <laughs> yeah, JP, JP's immune to every STD. <laughs> now, I am autistic, as so I'm pretty good at spotting them. Uh, I. Raph plays water polo, which is, you know, that's a fun sport. He likes being underneath the street level so he can look for those Jewish tunnels. Uh, uh, you're just jealous my crotch gets wet. <laughs> uh, 
Is that five or we got more? Uh, Ra Raf, uh, Raf thinks that ACAB stands for all criminals are black. Uh, he plays chess, he likes chess. Every time he takes a black piece, he says, that's what you get for running. Um, you know, he, he likes black people, don't worry. He likes watching them play football, because at least then they have owners. Um, Keep it going, everybody. <laughs> Rabbi, I won't get! Can't be food to me, though. This is wild. Uh, I'm gonna start with my hating ass nigga from Atlanta. Uh, who would you like in the, uh, this Revenge of the Nerds musical here? Uh, niggas start catching strays at the end. I don't know what we did. <laughs> and to be honest, doesn't ACAB stand for All Criminals Are Black? Anyways, uh, I like the Nazi. Right? <laughs> well, okay. All right. All right, uh, let's start with Jamar. Uh, Jamar, what, did you like uh, the deepest right. hand from the Niners or JP? I mean, uh, he looks like the dad from Seventh Heaven if he was a teenage parent. <laughs> I can see that. And... <laughs> And that guy, I, I don't know, I like JP. Um, I, I mean, shit. Fuck, I mean, I, you know, I get, I think it's JP. Where, I don't know, he, I feel like he was a little funnier. Yeah? I feel like he was a little funnier. Nigga, make up your mind. <laughs> oh shit, niggas is battling now. Are we fighting? He's, he's just a hater. Oh yeah, he is a hater. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> All right, so the niggas like the Nazi. Yeah, 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 I guess so, man. Yeah, yeah. This close to Black History Month? Nice. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, which, uh, Sandy, who in, uh, in Weird Science did you like? <laughs> of, the, of these two roommates at Liberty University? <laughs> <laughs> um, Raphael? The fucking lost a son joke, destroyed, really funny. The like the few at the end though, from JP is it? Mc, McDo you're Indian with the last name like McDowell. Oh, it's who the Beetle? Wolfgang, last name. Okay. Where did you get McDowell from? I don't know. I just made it up in my head. He I thought like his McDowell. last name was McDowell. I, 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 I fucked up. That's are fucked you up. sure? This isn't going to America. How dare you? <laughs> I thought we were at McDowell's. <laughs> yeah. I ordered that on Postmates. Uh, through a tunnel. Uh, That's a Jewish joke, I like that. Yeah, don't tell him, though. Yeah, 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 Jews don't have tunnels, uh, don't worry about that. In, in Crown Heights, Brooklyn. Uh, those tunnels make their, their way out here, don't worry. Uh, That's Mexicans. <laughs> Fuck, I, I really enjoyed JP's last slew of jokes, but I'm having trouble remembering them off the top of my head. Yeah, that. And, you, you know? Yeah. And, um, they were good, though. Yeah. They were really good. Not his pronouns, but like, the jokes were really good. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a um, boy. <sighs> but I think based on that, I really loved his jokes, but I can't remember them. And I, that fucking lost a son thing is gonna stick out to me, so I got, I'm gonna give it. Wolf so I'm, I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. All right, that is a clean sweep. I'm gonna Barker. give it to the guy that hates me and all my family. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Jamar, you're raising your hand like we're in class. Yeah, his name is JP, but he looks like he tells everyone to call him Steve. <laughs> Again, they. Go ahead, Pat. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck's going on here. Um, this was, uh, I mean, it was a fun battle. It was cool. It kind of looked like a deleted scene from the social network. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm glad I don't have to vote because I feel like even if I voted for JP, like uh, Raphael's, uh, you know, lawyer father would have the decision overturned or something like that. By the way, I can't tell you how bummed I was when Raphael Wolfgang looked like you. <laughs> I was expecting oh. somebody so much cooler. Yeah. No, fat right here. Sure. Ah, <laughs> ah, <laughs> keep going. 
Yeah, I mean, you know, the judges voted. Great job. The, uh, yeah, JP, I loved your, your two runs, uh, the one about uh, all the virgin stuff, and they settled out of court, and then all the, the black stuff at the end, but dad lost, <laughs> dad lost a son. See, I remember the jokes. It was all the black stuff. Um, Definitely all the black stuff. And uh, 72 JPs I thought was, was really funny, too. So oh, yeah, um, congratulations. Two, uh, two out-of-towners in a row pulling off hey. the upset. Hey, there we are. Wolfgang. Wolfgang, Wolfgang, who's on the trip? Man up. 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 Man we saw a Nazi in a, in a, uh, a non-binary. We saw two Middle Eastern women. Who's ready for two soft-spoken Mexicans? All right. A solid 70% of this crowd. Good. This is LA versus the Bay. Let's meet the Bay first. Love this cat. This guy's very funny. Make it loud for David Rodriguez! David. David Rodriguez. Good to see you. <laughs> I feel like we picked you up outside of an office depot. <laughs> Home office depot. <laughs> <laughs> I know those still exist. That was a that was a reach. All right. It does. David. Yeah. Good to see you. Welcome back. You're very funny. You, you rocking this shit. Uh, let the people know something about yourself. You know, what should we know about you? Um, honestly, I'm just I'm just here to do my thing. <laughs> 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 well, uh, this guy's from LA. We love him. John Luna! <laughs> All right. Let's These niggas look alike. <laughs> yeah. Now, this feels like Hota and Silent Bob should. <laughs> It's a Mexican joke for Jen. Anyway, uh, uh, they look like motel and hotel. <laughs> Holiday Inn. <laughs> this looks like before Ozempic, after Ozempic. Anyway, let's get into it. <laughs> this looks like. <laughs> Why are you doing this to him? Dude, it's just gonna be a great battle, you know. We're here. Anything weird the crowd should know about you before we get into this battle? He's probably gonna call me fat. Um, <laughs> He looks like my skeleton. How about that? <laughs> that, is, he, that is not true. He doesn't look anything like your skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is one round, Come five on. jokes. <laughs> five jokes. Who's going first? He's going first? All right, LA, The Bay, John, you, David, white names. Let's roast! You got it. <laughs> Yeah, John is Mexican. Uh, <laughs> uh, whenever he says, I weigh, he should add 500 pounds. <laughs> the first time I ever saw David, I thought, no, I don't want any oranges. <laughs> David is a short king, but he's also Mexican, so the only silver crowns he has are in his mouth. Doesn't John look like uh, that, that lady who killed Selena if she transitioned from being Shrek? <laughs> Give it up for Carlos Tiny Mancia. Yeah. <laughs> David looks like Good Will Hunting directed by Guillermo del Toro. He's like solving equations on the side of a building with spray paint. And the answer is always MS-13. <laughs> uh, John's wearing a, a Supreme beanie. He took out the part that says nacho. <laughs> that was a good one. Give it up for this Oompa Loompa Nada. David studied history, which is funny for someone who will never be remembered. John, 
from the Inupa Loompa. It doesn't look like I, uh, I ate that gum, the Willy Wonka gum. Like, he looks like me if I ate that. Uh, John, John said that uh, he had sex during a women's march at his college. Um, I don't think that was a women's march. I think that was a search party for the woman. <laughs> Give it up for Telemundo Tom Cruise, everybody. <laughs> David's grandpa has uh, been in jail for his whole life. Uh, so he's not the first person in his family to be an incel. It is kind of sad that your grandpa never got to see you become a man. But then again, neither did anyone else. <laughs> Uh, yeah, John is Mexican. He saw his family in Mexico uh, because they couldn't come because he was in the van. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, every, every van with John is jammed into the van. <laughs> there we go. Give it up for Stuart Little if he drove a lowrider. This is true, David uh, was afraid to sleep by himself, is still afraid to sleep by himself, so until he was 15 years old, he slept with his mom. And then when he turned 16, that's when everyone else slept with her. You know? <laughs> okay, come on. <laughs> John Luna! <laughs> David Rodriguez! That was for La Raza. <laughs> It really was. That was, that was that? a very ethnic-centric battle. Like, <laughs> man, if, if nobody knew you guys were Mexican, that would feel like Fox News. <laughs> it was fun to make fun of Mexican people. <laughs> Let's start with Sandy Danza. So if, if you two are here, where are the other rushing nesting dolls that go in between? <laughs> Um, they, they, they started the night off. <laughs> <laughs> um, jokes were great, even though you guys have the charisma of a broken pretzel rod. Um, but, you know, I like dry comedy. Um, maybe, maybe not that dry, but I, I really liked it. Um, David, David, David? See, you, 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 <laughs> Muy bien. You, you remind me of somebody that was hired to be Nathan's friend and Nathan for you. And I love that, and I fucking love that. And your Shrek transition joke and the Nacho Supreme joke fucking destroyed me. And uh, John, the, uh, you got people saying like lunar eclipse because you're Okay, yeah. yeah just, That's good. Because the weight thing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a scientist or anything. I don't know. but um, The crowns joke, fucking amazing. Telemundo, Tom Cruise, the low rider. All fantastic. Um, Gracias. Yeah, that's all I have to say. I'm not going to choose. That was good. No, I... I think it, it David. David? Just, just, just because of the C at the end there. Just because he spoke Spanish to me and it spoke That to was very cool. Yeah. All right. Um, all right. I'm yeah. sorry, man. The fantastic job. He does look like uh, Ralph Barbosa playing Neil Nathan <laughs> <laughs> Or. He looks like uh, Ralph Barbosa playing Butthead from Beavis and Butthead. Not bad. Uh, I was going to say Rami Malek in Senior Robot. Uh, that's, that's, a, that's an ethnic joke. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Go ahead, Jamar. What do you like? Hey, man, both of these guys are very talented individuals. Wouldn't you guys agree? I mean, wow. Okay, that guy looks like a mountain of Mexican. <laughs> he looks like not That's his man. wrestling name. Right. Oh, wait, 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 I got one, I got one. Well, go ahead. It looks like the barge versus a barge. Ah, <laughs> you big. Right, that's a boat ah. joke. Anyway. And uh, he looks like uh, Simon Birch. Oh. I. <laughs> All right, fine. 
You know Simon Birch? Deep cut. Fuck off. All right, he looks like he works customer service at a very quiet place. All right, I'm going for David because I thought he was better. I, I thought David was better. Uh, Chad, you're always amazing. Though. You're always it's all good, amazing. It's all good, but I'm going to go to uh, Mexico to talk about these two Mexicans here. Hater. Hate something. That was a great record. Uh, that nigga need to get on his epic. And start high on the doses, nigga. You need to start at like point one. Um, he looked like the gay nigga from the office. What's his name? Oscar? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he just look like a gay Mexican. Give me a break. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go with David. People like you, David. Let's see, what, let's see what the commissioner thinks. I mean, they both look like the same, like, like character, except one's the action figure and one's the stuffed animal version. Um, plushy, yeah, plushy. David, I was really worried when they were like, tell us the most interesting thing about you, and you were like, I'm just here to do my thing. I was like, oh, this dude's gonna get the shit kicked out of him. No, no, you don't know cartel members. <laughs> you niggas are the quietest. Yeah, facts. Um, but you, I mean, you were really great. I felt like there was a lot of like weird tension in the room, and then you broke it open with the Nacho Supreme beanie, which is like, to, to throw that in, just based on what he's wearing tonight, I thought was really good. And then it loosened the crowd up, and then John came back with Oompa Loompa Nada. John, all of your, your opening things were great. Telemundo, Tom Cruise, Stuart Little, and a low ride. It was all great. But I, I, I think David's jokes were actually a little bit, the Women's March and the search party and all that shit. Oh. I thought, yeah. And then the jam in the van. You, you fucking, everybody who comes here tries to do a jam in the van joke. And for some reason, yours made the room fucking explode. So congratulations. Goddamn right. He did this whole battle in English, not broken. Your winner, moving on, David Rodriguez! Hug each other, you two. Battle! Francisco, holy shit, man. Bun bunch of upsets and uh, David Rodriguez versus Mini El Tayeb in the next round. Okay. Should be uh, interesting. This is fun. This is the last battle of the night. This is LA versus San Diego again. Now listen, we've seen all kinds of things tonight. And this is a fun one. This is a battle as old as time. A black man versus a white woman. That's Jay. how we end the oh, night. Jay. Oh, Jay. Oh, Jay. Oh, Jay. Oh, Jay. Hell yeah, sure. Let's get into it. Uh, excited. Love this cat from San Diego. Taylor, great. <laughs> what up, yes. motherfuckers? Hell yeah. Yeah, he's tall. We're Sherlock Holmes in here that said that. <laughs> he's, yeah. Very observant, sir. All right. Yes, you look like the color purple of it. Anyway, I saw this. Too soon. He looked like some scissor. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga looked like lean, don't he? <laughs> A tall boy of that shit. <laughs> Nigga looks like uh, if Future was playing Gumby. <laughs> <laughs> A California raisin in the sun. Shit. Yo, keep going. Yo, keep going. Stop doing these black Yo. Yo. Is this the LA nigga? Yeah, no, it's San Diego. San oh. Diego. San Diego. Oh, you hate San Diego. Man. I hate that place. Damn. Me too. I'm not from there. I don't claim San Diego. Where are you from? I just, I just let her know. I'm, I'm from the city. What the fuck does that mean? From New York LA? City, motherfucker. It's the best. Yeah. Huh. Sure. SF, SF. Yeah. I'm from Atlanta, nigga. I don't know what that means. Oh, worse. So we both I'm from the city. Yeah, you talking about? Yeah. Oakland's the town. Yeah. SF's the I'm from the city that got five of them shits. Where are you from? <laughs> LA? You from New York? Yeah. Oh, what part? Brooklyn. Oh, okay. Nice, yeah, son. I put together a whole fucking thing called the California Cup, and this dickhead comes up like, I oh, fuck California. I'm from New York. What are you, what are you doing, man? I respect it. I respect Play it. Play along. <laughs> right. Guys, it's guys, call the West heel alone. turn, yeah. baby. <laughs> All right, Taylor, tell these people something about yourself before we bring up beliefs. Wait, say that again? Say something about yourself to these people that they don't know about you. Um, okay. Uh, I, have, uh, I have a python. His name is Nigel. 
This nigga that named his dick. You do, do. Now give it up for Nigel. Yeah. All right. Go ahead, Mexico. I just said, I know this nigga that named his dick. It's all thinking it. Name his dick Nigel. Shit. All right. It's a new N word. <laughs> this lady coming to the stage is a bad motherfucker. Uh, a rising star in the LA Rose Battle scene, Elise Golgowski! Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, white win. Oh, God, a white woman? You already lost, nigga. <laughs> oh, my God. I got the two black men spoke up already. <laughs> Aruka. Aruka. Get that Brooklyn nigga off the stage! <laughs> <laughs> All right, at least, oh shit, at least from LA. Yes, hi. Bella Taylor Gray from New who, York. Who knows, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, tell these people something about yourself they don't know. Uh, about myself that they don't know? Um, oh boy, well, uh, I mean, I guess, obviously you know that Taylor's a minority, right? He's a black man that I'd never want to fuck, so <laughs> really excited to get into this battle. I'm more excited to roast someone with a longer face than me. Okay. You know? <laughs> this, this looks less like a roast battle and more like the Kentucky Derby right now. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Moses. Hey, Moses. Hey, Moses. Ask her if she let the wave smash. <laughs> All right, one round, five jokes, who's going first? Ladies first. Ladies first, let's yeah. do this thing. Let's go. Let's go all the night. Let's make it so loud we break this bitch. Bad up. Bad up. Taylor, Elise, let's roll. <laughs> Taylor, thank you for taking a break from selling drugs to Beetlejuice to be here. Uh, Taylor actually looks like Brittany Griner if you try to draw her from memory. <laughs> I mean, all right, elephant in the room, right? Like, it's one thing to have a big nose and a whole nother to have a Quentin Tarantino's. Like, that motherfucker crazy. She could, she could even go back to the 90s and spell, smell teen spirit with that shit. <laughs> but she wants to stay loyal to her current band that she's part of, System of a Down Syndrome. Cool, yeah, I have a really long face, but Taylor's face looks like his mother's asshole, stretched. <laughs> Why? But speaking of uh, basketball, um, <laughs> what? His mom can fit a whole one in there. I saw her Pornhub video. <laughs> anyway, cool. Speaking of basketball, Taylor has the body of a power forward, but the balls of a power bottom. Oh. Elise actually has the physique of somebody that has two jobs, right? Like, her body says that she do OnlyFans, but when you get to her face, it says that she do smog checks. Oh. <laughs> cool. Taylor looks like Predator if he worked at Cricket Wireless. <laughs> Elise tried to get a nose job, but as it turns out, that's a job that not even a Mexican would want to do. <laughs> Hey, Mr. George, I know. I know how they tools. <laughs> Damn, that's some big talk coming from a possessed black and mild. I <laughs> Taylor's head looks like a light bulb, uh, which I guess is what happens when your mom smokes crack out of one. <laughs> Actually, I did find out somebody that could work on Elise's nose since it's like red, it has to be registered as a piece of furniture. Only two people that could work on her nose are Ray Moore and Flanagan. Oh, good one, Nipsey, no muscles. <laughs> Boy. All right. I can tell. I no, it's my turn, babe. Oh, shit. <laughs> Taylor's name, Taylor Great. What an oxymoron. And by that I mean he looks like a moron on oxy. All right. All right. <laughs> no. That was awesome. 
I could tell by the shape of Elisa's mouth that she definitely got pigeon meat in the air fryer. <laughs> whoop, whoop. <laughs> One more time, Elise Golgowski. Taylor Gray. Taylor Gray. Elise Golgowski. It was fun until that last one. Yeah. Uh, Mexico. Yeah, I'm probably gonna hate both of them niggas equally. Uh, she came out, first thing she said, she wouldn't fuck a black guy, so she definitely lost. No, I said I wouldn't fuck this one. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, <laughs> calm down, whoa. For sure, we're going You're good, babe, in. don't worry. She said that like she the one with the choice. Whoa. <laughs> Please. The only birth control you use is your personality. Shut up, Taylor. She got more, boy. <laughs> Ripper, Taylor, Ripper. Yeah, she got more in her nose, yo. You know, you know your nose is big when a black dude says, God damn, that's a big ass nose. <laughs> I should be wearing that. <laughs> yeah. Eddie Murphy said, you got a big nose, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. All right, let's say, you know what? I'm going to start with the commissioner on this one. Who do you like here, Kevin Garnett or Larry Bird? <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, what kind of Larry Bird? Man, people shit on the WNBA, and I always defend it. And if this happens, I'm like, yeah, you guys were right. Um, no, listen, uh, I just want to say, I want to give credit to the crowd tonight. You really made everybody work ten times harder than they should have had to. You guys were tough. Any joke that you didn't even halfway like, you were like, fuck that and fuck both of you. We spent zero dollars to be here. Entertain us. God damn. Uh, Unbelievable. <laughs> this crowd was tight. Um, I, I thought it was. I thought it was better than than you guys acted. There were there were some really strong ones in there. The Britney Griner thing at the beginning was great. The um, and uh, OnlyFans body and a face that does does smog checks. A plus work there. Uh, Predator at Cricket Wireless is just a fun combination of words. Yeah, that was amazing. We can see it. The nose job. Even a Mexican wouldn't do it. You guys were kind of neck and neck and. I, I was like, somebody is either going to have a, a haymaker knockout and win, or somebody is going to hit dead silence and lose. And then you, you really went for it with Ray Moore and Flanagan. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a, it's a Bob's Furniture crowd, my guy. They did not fuck with that at all. It's a living spaces group in here. I don't know. Yeah. Um, I'm getting a rent-a-center vibe from some of these people. <laughs> But uh, yeah, to me, it was really, really close up until that moment, and then both of you guys kind of fell off, but the moment the momentum swung was the Ray Moore and Flanagan missing, and I think Elise was a little bit more consistent and edged it out. All right. What is Ray Moore and Flanagan? What's the furniture store? Was it furniture store? Never I don't know, of do they shit. have them out here? No, 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 no. You guys say living spaces. Or yeah. Living spaces. That's some New York shit? I told you I'm from the East Coast, goddammit. You come to the California Cup, you research California <laughs> furniture stores. This is common sense, sir. <laughs> the nigga dressed HD like Snoop Dogg. HD Buttercup or nothing. <laughs> All right, Sandy, who would you like, Trevor Lawrence or Lamar Jackson? <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like this roast battle is going to be in the pitch deck for the next Shonda Rhimes show. I felt, you know, the conviction that Elise told her <laughs> Black jokes, I, it felt very, a little too real for me. <laughs> I felt like I was watching a, like a Broadway performance of a Karen video. It did feel like that. Um, yeah, I was like, guess who's coming to dinner, nigga? <laughs> That's what it felt like. <laughs> who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We're trying with this little Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's late. I, um, the fucking Britney Griner joke is so good. Um, but the nose job and the smog checks fucking killed me, Taylor. Um, God. I don't know. Jamar, yeah, you? do you believe all women or do Black Lives Matter? <laughs> you know, Jews never get mentioned in this. <laughs> and now, more than ever, we need some mentioning. You know, I ain't free Palestine in a minute, my nigga. No. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody <laughs> see how I leave here, please. Keep your guys a strip in your drawers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go make a deposit in the West Bank. What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> one more joke. Let's take one more joke. You want one? Okay. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, both their jokes at the end kind of fell flat a little bit. I mean, you guys know that. I'm not telling you anything new. So, uh, yeah, I could, be, I could do one more joke. I don't know if you guys have it. Pat already said the least, so... All right, so it comes down to Jamar. If Jamar yeah. wants one more joke, we'll do one more. If he, yeah. What, what do you think, Jamar? I don't know. I'm a, I'm, I'm a little bit of a people pleaser. <laughs> what does this audience want? <laughs> of course they want more. They're cheap. They didn't even pay for this. I know when I see. I'm cheap, too. All right, one more joke it is. One more joke it is. All right. Ladies went first, you're up first this time. This is a joke off. Let's roast! So, Elise woke up this morning and when she blew her nose, it sounded like SpongeBob's alarm clock. What, well, what, what does it sound like? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking up Squidward's whole day. Good one. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Taylor has the demeanor of a rapper that raps to children about the, d the dangers of drug use. Wow. <laughs> 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 that was not worth it. The whole time I was like, the crowd is demanding one more joke just to give them silence one more time. <laughs> like they were like, let's shit on these guys one more time before we leave. Damn, yeah, the right. audience won the roast battle based <laughs> on that. Yeah, Jesus. That's for y'all. That was definitely y'all. Cutting the deepest with their reactions. Niggas gonna hang themselves after this. Fuck. Go ahead, Sandy. Who do you like? Fuck. I, the, the SpongeBob act out killed it, but you got punch up in real time from Jamar. <laughs> you assist. No black yeah, belt. That, you can't do that. <laughs> Fuck. I don't. It was funny when you did it at the end. It's hard. I feel just such guilt telling somebody, anybody, somebody's better than somebody else. Because I think you guys are both great. I was gonna do it anyway. <laughs> you were gonna do what? The hat. Okay. All right. All right. Well, comedy's about timing, though. much time this is taking. I, I want to get out of here. Do my, do wife, my wife might still be up when I get home. I might be able to... Your kid might have graduated college by the time you get home. I'm what very the? indecisive. It, it, I, that's why I can't eat the Cheesecake Factory anymore. They can't. Uh, I'm just going to go with Elise because I'm afraid she's going to call the cops on me if I don't. <laughs> Yeah. All of us on the stage too. Yeah. Wow. Come on. Okay. I um. I mean, I gotta do these. Um, her nose looks like OJ's knife. I think Nicole Brown killed herself. Um. I loved you in John Singleton's gritty unreleased film, A Poet Named Tarantula. And I got one more. I loved you in Spike Lee's gritty, unreleased film, The Incent Man. <laughs> Only black people get this show. Everybody's like, watch any of that on Tubi. Okay, I got it. Okay. Anyway, uh, Pat's getting angry at us. I. Um, I, I mean, really, I thought at least one in the first round. Uh, you know, but uh, you know, yeah, I, I thought Elise won in the first round. But that act out though was crazy. But I got Elise going. Yeah. But I get there. Yeah. 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 Okay, Pat, who do you like, Frozone or Elastigirl? <laughs> no. I'm just I'm marveling. I just realized Taylor. I, where do you get size 20, 80 pinstripe suit pants? <laughs> to wear with a purple and black uh, jersey over, I'm, that, that's a wild fit. Um, Can I ask you a question? Yeah, please. You go to fucking Raymore and Flanagan, <laughs> man. God damn, hey. that's my guy. Tell him! Hell black yeah, dude. power! <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I, I, uh, as, as fun as the noise was in overtime, I'm gonna stick with my original decision and edge it to Elise. Folks. 
your winner, our first LA winner, Miss Elise Gogals, he's moving on! Keep it going for Taylor and Elise, everybody. That's our last battle of the night. And all your California Cup winners and contestants, make love for my hating ass nigga Sushi Boy Mexico. My panelists, Shamar Malachi Neighbors, Sandy Danto, The Commish, Pat Barker, follow them all online. Yeah. And of course, Autistic Thunder. Yeah. Jam in the band, you're the best. And give it up for Brian Christ. Moses. Bye. Happy birthday, Brian Moses. Is anybody going there, Wilshire, LaBrea?